Hi, this is Bo Astro from Puffs Productions. Somebody asked today or made a comment today that it was too bad that there was no delay calculation app around on the Macintosh anymore. Uh, sure, you can get those for iPhones, iPads, and they're available online, but he didn't want to go online. And frankly, I don't run my uh, DP rig attached to the internet anyway, so I kind of feel what he's talking about. And, you know, w we got into the discussion saying, well, um, my argument was in most of the delay plugins you have, um, you can just go by beats and just select the, the beat you want. And he said, no, I like numbers, and then that's cool. And I thought, well, that was how we used to do it. So I made a little program called uh, Delay Calc. And the way it works, you can see right here, simply open it up, type in a BPM, and then you get a quarter note, eighth note, half note, dotted note, and a triplet. And you can type in those numbers directly into your delay line. Now, this is an app. Now it runs off the Finder. However, what is really nice would be to have it run from the menu. To uh, be able to run this from the menu, you first have to go into your Applications folder, find your Utilities, and then open the Apple Script Editor app. Once that's open, you simply go down, choose Preferences, click the Show Script menu in Menu Bar. Now you see we added this little icon up here. We can turn off Apple Script Editor. Now, if you have uh, Mac OS 10.10, you don't do this in the Apple Script Editor. You go directly to um, the Preferences, and in general, there should be a checkbox in there to do it. But in anything up to 10.9, you have to go to the Apple Script Editor to turn it on. Now, once this is on, I'll simply go here and select Open Apple Scripts Folder open computer scripts folder and there's actually a bunch of cool scripts in there that you might look around and see if there's anything you can use for whatever you're doing take this app drop it in there it disappears from here now you can run it directly so it'll run on top of DPs and now DP is open so I'll go up to the scripts menu and choose the delay calculation there it comes to the top type in my numbers I get the numbers what I need yes and go back and uh, simply type in the numbers in and type in the numbers in my preferred delay so you can find this available on my website www.popsproductions.com thank you